Welcome to the course. I'll be your instructor, Dr. John Baugh. I have taught computer science, software engineering, and data science for over 15 years now in various capacities. I'm currently the professor and department chair of the CIS department at a local community college here in Michigan. I've also taught part-time at a larger university as a lecturer. Needless to say, I've taught thousands of students, and I'm looking forward to teaching you too. I hope to bring my industry and consulting experience to the table to enhance my teaching so that you can learn in the best way possible. This course is primarily for intermediate and advanced developers. If you've taken my complete C++ developer course or another good C++ course here on Udemy or in college, you should feel pretty comfortable with most of the concepts we discuss in this section. We'll be reviewing the fundamentals of C++ programming but in the context of cute, notice I'm pronouncing it cute, not QT. A lot of developers get that wrong right off the bat, so now you know the right way to pronounce it. See, you're already getting your money's worth. I strongly recommend that even if you're very comfortable with C++ in general, and know all about variables, data types, control statements, functions, and classes, that you still go through this section. We will be using the Qt Creator IDE instead of a more standard C++ IDE with which you might already be familiar, such as Visual Studio or CodeBlocks. We will also be discussing some Qt specific ways of doing things you might already be familiar with by using the C++ standard library. For example, we'll use QtextStream and connect to the standard input and output instead of using the standard libraries cout and cin objects. We'll use qfile and qvector and other cute specific features that you're probably not familiar with yet. So again, I strongly recommend that you still go through this section just so you can get your feet wet and become more comfortable with both Qt Creator as an IDE as well as some of the classes that Qt has to offer. At the end of the section, we will create rectangle objects dynamically from the file the cute way. This will help us reinforce and review what we've learned in this section. Fair warning, this first section will be entirely focused on fundamentals without the additional complexity of GUI development. Don't get discouraged though, you will still learn some of the classes and features we'll be using for the course project the store inventory application. Once you have these fundamentals down and are more comfortable with Qt Creator, we can dive right in to GUI development in the next section. So I don't know about you, but I'm super excited to get started with this course. So I'll see you in the next lecture.